Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on video two of this new adventure. Let's get right into it. Today I'm gonna to be covering five, 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 four things in my camera bag that I cannot live without. So four things in my drone camera bag that I make sure I always have on me all the time. But first, coffee. Oh, did you think that there was gonna be like this big, like super slow motion montage sort of thing? Maybe next time. Mmm. I just love coffee. You know, when there's something like external that you just love so much, like in the evening, I just start getting excited thinking about the cup of coffee I'm gonna have the next morning. I just love it so much. And you wake up in the morning, you're like, ooh, I get my coffee soon. Ah, <sighs> just love coffee. I may have had too much coffee. Okay, let's get into it. Big flashy introduction, pew, 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 here. I haven't done my introduction yet. Um, but there will be an introduction coming, I'm working on it. All right, number one. First thing in my camera bag that I will always have on, with me, on me, around me, everywhere I go, smart controller. Absolutely love the DJI smart controller. Now, I get a lot of questions about it. Is it worth the money? Is it really all that good? If you fly a lot, if you fly your drone on a daily basis, or if you have multiple drones, you can fly the Mavic Air 2 and the 2 Pro, uh, and you just swap back and forth between drones on this. Didn't turn off notifications. Just a sec, I gotta get this. Hello, Gabriel speaking. And we're back. All right, notifications off. Okay, yes, smart controller. <laughs> okay, so basically, the primary thing that I love about this so much is the screen. It's a big, bright screen. It has an internal fan. So, while I love the iPhone, I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's a big screen, it's a bright screen. If you're shooting outside in the sun and it starts to warm up, the screen will dim. And that makes it harder to see what's on the screen. Mr. Obvious is obvious. This is a big screen, it's super bright. It has the internal fan, so if it starts to overheat instead of dimming the screen, it will uh, turn on the fan and cool it off. So I absolutely love it. It's got a bunch more buttons, uh, programmable buttons on the back, and you can really get your muscle memory down on this, and that's one thing. If you're switching drones, switching controllers, remembering what everything does, whereas with this, you can just program it to do the same with all of your drones. And it's it's really, it's a, it's a great, super pleasurable experience. I only have to charge it maybe once or twice a week. I, I don't fly without it. Number two, multi-tool. Multi -tool. Always have this on me. There's always, a tripod leg that gets stuck, a zipper that breaks, um, something that needs cut, and then while well, I've always got, you know, my Benchmade on me, which I absolutely love. I see all the people in the comments of my friends' YouTube channels and stuff, and they're like, what's up with Canadians and knives? Do all Canadians have knives? Only the cool ones. But, I mean, I only carry a knife because it comes in handy like 400 times a day. But, multi-tool, get something that's got a pair of pliers on it. My son guy gave it to me for, for Christmas a couple years ago and I love it. And it's got a screwdriver in there, so it's got a star head and a flat head. It's got a bottle opener. It comes in handy all the time. You always need a pair of pliers, it's got a little knife on it. Super, super handy. Use it all the time. Don't go anywhere without it. Number on the toi. This is like the most important one for me. And I, if you've never heard of a NAR box before, this thing is a lifesaver. Absolutely love it. Product shot. Pew, 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 pew. I'm big with like the pew pews today. What a NAR box is, is a portable hard drive, but it's not just any portable hard drive. When you're done shooting, you put your micro, they've got a little micro SD card adapter to put it to SD 
and you put it in there, it automatically detects that there's a card in there, asks you if you want to back it up. You say back it up. So it transfers all the information from the card to the internal hard drive. And then it does a, a checksum verification. So it checks all the data to make sure that it's, that it's there, that it's not corrupt, that everything's fine, which I absolutely love. But the other thing that I like is that it organizes it by file type. So if I'm flying the Air 2, which I tend to be flying the Air 2 more than anything nowadays, uh, every time you take a picture, it takes a RAW and a JPEG, which... Hi. Every time you take a picture, it takes a RAW and a JPEG, which is, uh, I wish that they would make it like the, the 2 Pro where you can say, take a RAW and a JPEG or just take a RAW or just take a JPEG, but I'd, I don't need those JPEGs. And so when I, when I back up all my information from here and I go to access it, there's a folder with all the RAWs, there's a folder with all the JPEGs, there's a folder with all the MOV files. And I take all my RAWs, I throw them in the Lightroom, I take all my MOV files, I throw them on my external hard drive, and I tag and categorize and rate them and everything. From there, this just makes it so much easier. The other thing too, which is unique with being a drone pilot, as opposed to just normal photography, is that we take the card that has all of our information on it, and we put it in a little thing with propellers, and we send it away. And if you've been shooting for a good chunk of the day, there's never an actual guarantee that it's gonna come back. So I back up my cards all the time. I land, pop the card, slam it into the NAR box, Usually a minute or two later, it's backed up, it's sorted, it's organized, it's verified. Turn it off, pop the memory card back into the drone, and then launch it again and send it super far away with the hope and understanding that it will come back. It always has. I've never run into a situation with a DJI drone where it lost signal or performed some sort of behavior where I wasn't like, oh, yeah, no, actually that makes sense. I was pushing the limits or I went around those that bank of trees or something uh, that, uh, that explains why that happened. But you're still putting your memory card into a thing that flies and sending it away. Back up your data. Back it up. NAR box is awesome for it. I love it. It's durable. It's rugged. They're not cheap, but I mean, drones aren't cheap and Cameras aren't cheap. They always say, get your kids into photography. They'll never have any money to buy drugs. Unless they start selling drugs to afford photography. But anyways, number four, number four. I always have some type of external lighting. You're shooting, the sun's going down, you got your stuff scattered around with your bag. This here, this is the Olight SR2 Baton 2, and it's a super high powered flashlight. Wow. I always have them in the, the opposite pocket from my pocket knife, and uh, it's, it's just good because a lot of times you hike out to a place where you launch your drone, you get that amazing sunset, you're like, ah. Oh, Cool, I got banger footage. I backed it up on the NAR box. This is not sponsored by NAR box. I just love the NAR box. You got it all backed up. You're super happy. And you're like, huh, huh, ah, there is no more sun. So I always have some sort of external lighting, whether to add it to the video or just to get your butt out of there safely. Comes in handy all the time. Kind of like a pocket knife. Three, four times a day. I, I'm using this. I like this one because it's got a magnetic factor to it. Yeah, you can just like slap it onto something and it'll just stick there and it gives you light. I guess that's sort of self-explanatory. There's not many other things a flashlight does. All right, so that's the four items that I always have on me at all times, no matter what drone bag that I'm using. Hope that was helpful. Hope that helped you out and you can find something to add to your camera bag. Write down the things that you have in your camera bag that you can't live without. I wanna read them in the comments, find new things I can add to my camera bag, make it a little bit more useful, a little bit more, a little bit more. It doesn't matter what the situation, what comes up. It's like, cool, I got it covered. So yeah, I'd love to hear what yours are. If you like the video, I hope you like the video. Hit the like button. Uh, if you wanna see future videos, I've got tons planned. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable being in front of the camera, even though it's still sort of weird. Got my notifications turned off. We're good. So yeah, if you wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the little bell, see the little ding, 
like all my notifications. And uh, I will see you in the next vid. Have a good day. Damn it. I'm out of coffee. Time for more coffee.